guys a quick little video because someone asked me a question how to change your um, icon on your, um, your little thing under the indicator this little bubble thing little light so um, for uh, um, applications that are on so to make it whatever picture you want and resize the picture and put it there so I'm going to show you guys just how to get a picture make it a, uh, and a, good, a good picture for it um, and put it there so um, what you're going to need in the beginning first of all is a program called docker and um, preview which we already have on all Macs and a picture you're going to use so let's go ahead and get started if you have a picture I just got this from a, um, from somewhere on Google I found it go ahead and um, open this up as you see it will be white and once it's white this is how all pictures will be if you take it from the internet or if you have a picture um, by itself so if you have a picture you go to instant alpha go like this you drag down while while you're clicking it's sort of like a click drag and you let go and then you delete and you go over here click it and hold it and you go down and you push delete and that's how you do that so you save it and then it becomes um, this one so now you have this so if I have this picture this huge picture it's gonna be a huge indicator and then it's gonna, it's gonna mess up my whole computer so I have to indicate um, that it has to be smaller so let's go ahead and open this up inside preview and once I do that what I have to do now is I have to push shift command and 4 and what that does is you can see it has this little thing for the cruiser the cursor it becomes a little arrow um, crosshair and you're gonna just go right around the around the little bubble you just can go ahead and circle up and hopefully it becomes around 16.16 .16 or 17.17 um, around there it's a good size so what we use is um, this one over here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna as you can see it's a perfectly it's really hard to see because it it's really small um, so what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna select all so you go ahead and go to edit select all and then you go to edit copy once it's copied you go over here just like this delete it paste this center it you make it smaller oops and remember if you go like this it's going to mess up this, the actual thing so you push shift and that always makes it the same so make sure you're holding shift while you're resizing it the shift key because it's way down there Go a little smaller. Okay, so that's what it looks like when you look at it that small. So I'm going to zoom out, and you see a little tiny Triforce. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save this as a PNG file. Um, it already saved it as screenshot 2010. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change it to Triforce small. Okay, so once you have your small um, little Triforce, you can go ahead and close the windows, and you have your Triforce small, 17 by 17, if you go like this, you can see how it's really pixelated and it's really small. That's what you want. If you have a picture that's not pixelated, sorry, like this, then make sure it's pixelated and very small. So that's what These are about the same as we, as we named it. Um, so let me go ahead and delete both of these. So now that you have your small little Triforce icon, what you're going to do is you're going to make a little folder and name it Triforce or whatever, you're, whatever you want to name it. Icon Indicators. I probably spelled it wrong, but whatever. Now, you can go ahead and drag this inside there. And now you're going to um, name it. Um, I have it pasted. Let me just show you. I don't want to spell it wrong. Uh, one of them is going to be indicator small or large, and then there's going to be other ones. You have to copy and paste it three times. So it's going to, one of them is going to be indicator small, one is going to be indicator medium. Is that how you spell medium? I think so. So make sure you have all three of these inside the folder, and make sure you spell the indicator right because it may really makes a difference. And once you have this folder ready, you open up Docker. 
I'll have a link in the description for this program. A very good program. So you're going to go ahead and go to Indicator Style. It's just like styles and colors. Custom Images. Select Folder. You can go to your desktop or wherever you have it saved. Traverse Indicators, and you push Select. Push Apply. Type in your password. OK. And your Docker relaunch. And you'll have your little icon indicators. See? And that's how you make your little icon indicators down there. Um, really simple way. I know it looks really nice um, if I go like this. Um, the size doesn't change because I didn't really make a difference with the small one. If you want to be really detailed, you can make it um, all three images, like the small one, really small. Like I can make this small one, like for this, I can make it like super tiny. But all you're going to see is a little orange dot or yellow dot. So um, it's not really that use unless you really have it small all the time. But that's, that, that's basically how you do it. Um, if you have any more questions, please ask me. It's really simple, um, not too complicated, just resizing and putting it in the program. Um, so if you, have any, if you have any questions, just ask me, and hopefully I helped. Goodbye.